Hello friends, welcome back to my channel for 100 legal challenge. And today we have binary search, really classical legal questions. So let's take a look. It's giving a sorted integer array nums of n elements and a target value. Write a function to search target in nums. So if the target exists, then we turn the index Otherwise, if we can't find this, then we turn negative one. The idea of searching is, since all the numbers is sorted, um, to find this target, we can firstly break it in half. And here, the midpoint will be in the number three here. We break it in half to check three and compare to the target. If three is smaller than target, then we can get rid of three, including every number before three, and start searching a new range from five to 12, since it's sorted, right? And from here, and from this three number, we break it in half again, and if we eventually find this number. It's just the process of breaking in half every time is log n, so it's really, really fast. So when we find it, we output this solution, the midpoint indexes. If we don't find any number, and then we just return negative one. Okay, let's take a look at the code. So we start with star to zero, and n equal to nums dot length. The last index of the array and while star is less than n then we have to do something to break it in half by making a midpoint star plus n minus star divided by two. Obviously you can do mid equal to star plus n, right? Minus two is about math. But this time, if you're using the second way, it's really easy to have a stack, I mean, overflow if the number is the maximum. For example, you can think about the, the length. If, if this is the case, um, you don't want to add another number. You want to break it down in here, have a small number, add half from here. Is that adding two number together and break it in half. Adding two number big and small together will become really long. But use the gap in here, break it in half first and add it to the small number. This is the solution. So we use this way to prevent the overflow. Now, next step, since we find it, we check numbers mid equal to target or not. If that's the case, we turn mid, right? And two more to check else if the so numbers mid bigger than target. So that's the midpoint is too big. So we have to make the ending bound lower. So we do n equal to mid. Else that means tar num numbers of mid is smaller than target. So we want to raise sub the range by making the star equal to mid plus one. And 
then um, if check now when you keep squeezing this range eventually um, start and end will met right so we have to check the start point equal to target or not sometimes if that's equal to target then we will return star or target doesn't exist in the numbers array then we return negative one so let's take a look at the code so it passed so this is a solution and let me submit it okay yeah that pass all the cases it looks right to me so if you have i mean this question is really classic usually um this solution is remembered by heart because you, you can use this solution to solve a lot of harder legal question so you can get used to solving these kind of cases then um you get much better by solving harder problem. So please leave any question below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.